Hi everyone. Have you ever wondered why birds can calmly sight on high voltage power lines without getting electrocuted? Why don't birds and squirrels get electrocuted on a power lines? Meanwhile, if a human touched the same line, it would be instant shock. Let's find out why that ha what why that happens and what rarely keeps those birds safe. Electricity always takes the easiest path. To understand this, we needed to remember one simple rule. Electricity always flows through the path of least resistance or, or the easiest path to the ground. Electric current doesn't move unless it has complete circuit. A continuous path from the, the source through the load and back to the ground or another potential difference. So for, for electricity to flow through a bird, there must be a voltage difference between two points of its body. Why birds stay safe? When a bird breaches on a single power line, both of it, if both of its feet are touching the same wire. That means the potential or voltage is the same at both points. There is no difference in voltage and therefore no current flows through the bird's body. It's like standing on a flat surface. There is no high difference so nothing moves. So no voltage difference equal no current equal no shock. What happens if the bird touched two wires? Now here's where thing can go wrong. If a bird spreads its wings and accidentally touches two wires at different voltage or one wire and a metal ball, it creates a path for current to follow through its body from one potential to another. And that's when it gets electrocuted. So birds are only safe as long as they stay on one wire and don't create a connection between two points of different voltage. What about squirrels and other animals? You might have also seen squirrels running along power line. The same rule applies. They are fine while staying on one line, but if a squirrel bridges the gap between two wires or a transformer connection, it completes a circuit and current flow through it. That's why power companies sometimes install animals, guards or insulating cover near transformer pushing to prevent short circuits caused by wildlife. Human and different. Now, let's talk about people. If a person touches a live power line while standing on the ground or on a metal structure connected to the ground, the body provides a path to earth and the voltage difference between the line and the ground drive current through the person. That's why linemen wear insulated gloves and boots and often work with hotline tools or from helicopters, ensuring they are at the same potential as the wire, just like the birds. High voltage doesn't always mean danger. You might think that since power lines carry thousands of volt of voltage, even being cool, even even being close should be deadly. But there's the key: voltage alone doesn't uh, doesn't kill. It is a flow of current through the body that causes harm, and current only flows when there's potential difference and path for it to travel through. Birds don't provide that path, so they stay perfectly fine even on 400 k kilovolt transmission lines. Let's quickly summarize what we have learning. 
what we have learned. Electricity needs a complete path and a voltage difference to flow. Pair this on one wire. Have no voltage difference between their feet, so no current flows. If they touch two wire or a ground or a grounded structure, they get electrocuted. The same applies to squirrels or other animals. Humans get shocked because they usually touch the live wire and are connected to the ground. So in simple terms, birds are safe because they are not completing the circuit. And that's why birds and squirrels doesn't get electrocuted on power lines. It's all about potential difference and current flow, simple physics that keeps them, sa uh, them safe. If you found this explanation helpful, make sure to like, share it with your friends and subscribe for more electrical engineering topics explained in simple language. And see you in the next one.